Okay, for the technically uh, curious, I have a side-by-side -side demonstration of two monitors being driven by the same COCO2. So um, this COCO2 has uh, Ed Snyder's really cool uh, composite uh, modification in it that uh, is driving the right-hand monitor, which is a, a composite CRT, and uh, COCO VGA is driving the VGA flat panel on the left. So um, uh, when we get the animations, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what's going on kind of behind the scenes. Um, and uh, um, hopefully this will be this will be interesting to folks who are curious, you know, what's going on um, with this. So as I had mentioned, the um, this is not a T1, so it doesn't actually really have lowercase. So you'll see that as kind of screwed up video um, on the uh, on the composite monitor when we actually enter that mode, because the 6847 just can't drive that. And then, of course, you know, all these color changing, uh, color palette changes are not visible on the uh, on the RF output. And so, uh, what's happening here? You may be noticing a flicker on the composite monitor every time the mode changes or the colors change or whatever on the VGA monitor. And the reason for that is that there's a combination lock. So during the blanking region, um, we can get in, if we can program the combo lock uh, via the mode pins of the 6847 in time, then Coco VGA recognizes that as a uh, signal to understand that the next video frame that's coming in is register settings. So modes and palette registers and things like that, not video to display. So it just displays the previous mode, uh, the previous um, video, and then consumes those registers. And on the next frame, it, it applies those register settings. So that's why you see this flicker. That's a one frame, uh, you know, set of registers that are being written to uh, Coco VGA. So the, you know, as I may have mentioned, this um, entire demo is written in BASIC except for the assembly language routine that does the, you know, combo lock and, and things like that. So it has to do some crazy stuff like, um, you know, change the uh, SAM uh, video modes and so, so that the addressing is correct and point it to the appropriate page in, in video memory where we actually have our registers stored um, and we have to change the mode of the 6847 and all that has to happen you know, during the blanking region so that the registers can be consumed during the visible region. And then uh, at the end of that visible region, we've got to change it all back and put it back the way it was so that uh, we can pick up where we left off. And you'll see on the next um, video screen when we uh, switch the artifact color, um, you'll swap it around. You'll notice that it doesn't change on the RF output. That's that stays the same. I'm not I'm not changing the E and Q clock or anything like that. This is um, it's all a, a um, you know a mode setting in Coco VGA that's giving us that. Thanks for watching.